Hi, good day. This is Miss LM and we're back again for another math video. And today, we're going to talk about graphing of linear equations in two variables. Given two points, the x and y intercepts and the slope in a point. So, ihanda nyo na yung mga graph papers or graph notebook nyo, yung ruler nyo, yung pen nyo, and also yung knowledge nyo on how to plot points in a Cartesian plane. So, ano nga ba yung graph na isang linear equation in two variables? So, the graph of linear equations in two variables can be described as a straight line. So, tandaan po, the graph of linear equation is a straight line. And it could be positive, negative, zero, or undefined slope. So, ito lang po yung tatandaan natin when it comes to graphing of linear equations. Okay? So, natatandaan pa po ba to sa slope of a line? Kapag upward from left to right, positive slope. Kapag downward from left to right, negative slope. Kapag horizontal line, zero. And kapag vertical line is undefined slope. Now, let's start our lesson about graphing linear equations in two variables using two points. So, dito muna tayo sa graphing linear equations using two points. So, graph the linear equation 3x plus 2y equals 6 using two points. So, we're going to graph the given linear equation using two points. But, what if we have this table and wala pa tayong value ng ating y sub 1 at wala tayong value ng ating x sub 2? Paano tayo magkakaroon ngayon ng dalawang point na ipa-plot sa ating Cartesian plane? Dito papasok yung ating algebraic knowledge on how to evaluate our equation. Ano po? So, tandaan, we have here point A, wherein yung 4 pa lang yung given at nawawala pa yung ating y sub 1. And then, for point B, nawawala naman yung x sub 2 and given naman si y sub 2. So, hindi natin siya pwedeng pagsabayin na i-evaluate dito sa ating linear equation. We're going to substitute the values of x sub 1 and then after that, substitute the value of y sub 2. Okay? So, let's start by substitution. So, solve by substituting the given value of x or y. So, yung naunang binigay ay value of x. So, from the equation 3x plus 2y is equals to 6, let us substitute the value of x as 4. Let x equals to 4. So, 3... Yung x, ang kapalitan ng 4. So, we have 3 times 4 plus 2y is equal to 6. So, what is 3 times 4? That is positive 12 plus 2y is equal to 6. So, from here, we need to have the additive inverse of positive 12 para matira na lang dito sa side na to si positive 2y. So, what is the additive inverse of positive 12? That is negative 12, okay? So, we have 2y is equal to 6 minus 12. From here, we have to subtract 6 minus 12 and that is negative 6. Divide both sides by 2 para matira na lang po yung ating y. So, y is equals to negative 3. And, yun po yung nawawala nating coordinate. Nabuo na ngayon yung ating point A, which is 4 and negative 3. Meron na tayong isang point na pwedeng i-plot. Again, anong ginawa natin? Given the value of x sub 1 for point A, sinabsitute natin sa ating equation, and then we apply the properties of equalities para po maka-arrive tayo dun sa value ng ating y. So, for our first point, we have 4 and negative 3. Now, punta naman tayo dun sa second point. Ano po? Para ma-graph na natin yung line. For the second point, ganun pa rin. We are going to solve and find the missing coordinate by substituting the value given. So, we have here y sub 2. So, 6 po siya. Ipapalit natin siya sa ating y. 3x plus 2 times 6 na siya instead na 2y. So, 2 times 6 is equals to 6. Then, what is 2 times 6? That is 12. Now, kailangan ma-retain itong ating 3x dito sa ating left side ng equation. So, additive inverse ulit tayo ni positive 12. And that is negative 12. So, from here, subtract na natin. 6 minus 12 is negative 6. And then, divide both sides by positive 3 para matira na lang po ang ating x dito sa ating left side ng equation. So, x is equals to negative 2. And yun po yung hinahanap natin na x-coordinate ng ating second point. Ngayon, nabuo na natin yung ating dalawang point. The first point is 4 and negative 3. The second point is negative 2 and positive 6. We are now going to plot these points. So, we need the Cartesian plane. Again, dun sa graph paper nyo na meron na kayong Cartesian plane. Meron kayong x-axis, y-axis and then may number na yung inyong mga number line. Plot na natin. Itong 4 and negative 3, hanapin natin sa x-axis si 4. Nasaan si 4? Sa x-axis, positive 4. Ito po siya. And then, negative 3 ng y-axis. So, ito yung negative 3 ng y-axis. So, saan sila mag-meet? 
dito po, so dyan natin ipaplat yung ating point. Ano po? And that will be point A. Next, second point is negative 2 and 6. Negative 2 daw po yung ating x. So, ito po yung negative 2. And then, nasa naman ang positive 6 ng ating y. So, nandito po. Saan sila magmimit? Dito po sa banda magmimit. Doon natin ipaplat yung ating second point. So, that is point B. Now, ang gagawin natin, since linear equation nga po ito, we're going to connect these two points by putting or drawing a line na mag intersect sa kanilang dalawa. Here we go, meron na tayong line. Again, gumamit tayo ng ruler sa pagdodraw ng line para exact yung dadaanan natin doon sa mga points na nandyan sa ating Cartesian plane. So, ito na po yung ating hinahanap na sagot. This is the graph of the linear equation 3x plus 2y is equals to 6. So, medyo mahaba nga lang po yung steps. Ano? Kasi dalawang beses tayo magsasubstitute sa ating linear equation just to know the missing coordinate. And then, pag nabuo na natin yung ating coordinate sa bawat point, yun yung ipaplat natin and then we're going to draw the line. So, yun po yung ating example number 1. Now, punta naman tayo sa example number 2. Now, for our second example, we have here graph the linear equation 2x minus y is equals to 4 using 2 points again. And dahil nga po yung 2 points natin ay medyo challenging at hindi talaga siya given at hindi pa buo yung coordinates niya. So, we are going to substitute again the given coordinates. So, ito munang una. We have negative 1 missing yung ating y sub 1. What we're going to do is to substitute negative 1 to our x. So, 2x minus y is equals to 4. Substitute natin si negative 1 kay x. Magkakaroon tayo ng 2 times negative 1 minus y is equals to 4. So, what is 2 times negative 1? That is negative 2 minus y is equals to 4. And then, let's have the additive inverse of negative 2 and that is positive 2. And then, 4 plus 2 is 6. But, as you can see, yung ating y ay negative pa. So, we have to divide both sides by negative 1 para maalis natin yung pagka-negative ng ating y. Y. So, ang result po natin is y equals to negative 6. So, the first point is negative 1 and negative 6. So, negative-negative malamang po siya ay nasa quadrant 3. Ano po? Next natin is yung ating given na y sub 2 which is 2. Yan naman po yung ating isa substitute sa ating y na magiging 2. So, we have 2x minus 2 is equals to 4. Then, additive inverse again of negative 2. That will be positive 2. So, 4 plus 2 is 6. Then, divide both sides by positive 2. Bakit naman natin i-divide both sides by positive 2? Kasi kailangan lang po natin ay x. So, matitira ay x. And then, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And this is our x coordinate for the second point. Yung second point natin magiging 3 and 2. So, positive, positive, malamang po yan ay nasa quadrant 1. Okay? So, i-plot na natin yung mga points negative 1 and negative 6 negative 1 ng x and then negative 6 ng y so nandito siya dyan natin ipaplat yung ating point so let's have the second point 3 and positive 2 so nandito siya 3 and then positive 2 so dito sila magmi-meet doon natin ipaplat yung ating second point and that's point D so gamit ulit tayo ng ruler to connect these two points and this will be our line for the linear equation 2x minus y is equals to 4. Now let's have our third example. So we have here x minus 2y is equals to 5. So we're going to plot this on our Cartesian plane using two points. Okay? We have here the table form that we're going to complete given that our point E has negative 1 as its y coordinate and point F as positive 1 as its y coordinate. So, ang nawawalang coordinate ay yung x coordinate. Yun yung hahanapin natin. So, paano natin mahahanap? By substituting the given value of x or y. So, in this case, y yung given. So, let y is equal to negative 1. Doon muna tayo sa point E. So, x minus 2, palta natin yung y ng negative 1, equals to 5. So, this means negative 2 times negative 1 and that is positive 2. So, bakit naging negative 2 yung ating minus 2? Kasi pag nag-keep change, change tayo, magiging negative po talaga siya. From positive, magiging negative and then multiply to a negative number. So, positive na siya. Now, kailangan natin ay x value lang. So, we have to get and add the additive inverse of positive 2 on both sides of the equation. So, ang atin po additive inverse ng positive 2 ay negative 2. We have 5 minus 2 and the answer is 3. So, yung x-coordinate ng ating first point is positive 3. Next po natin is yung second natin na y-coordinate. So, let y is equals to positive 1. Magkakaroon tayo ng x minus 2 times 
1 plus 5, so that is negative 2, and then additive inverse of negative 2, that is positive 2, and then 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. The x-coordinate of the second point is 7. So, point F have the coordinates 7 and 1, 7 as x-coordinate and 1 as y-coordinate. Now, let us plot these points on our Cartesian plane. So, we have point E, 3 and negative 1. Nasaan po ba yung positive 3 ng x, negative 1 ng y? So, saan sila nag-meet? Doon natin ipaplot yung point. So, that is point E. Then, for point F, we have 7 and 1. So, 7 ng x and 1 ng y. So, there you go. We have 7 and y, point F. Then, draw a line using a ruler para po straight line yung madraw natin. So, now, this will be our linear equation for x minus 2y is equals to 5. Now, let's have our fourth example. So, we have here y is equals to x minus 4. So, this is written in slope-intercept form and we don't have the worry kasi same steps lang po yung gagawin natin. Substitute the given value para mahanap yung missing coordinate. So, for the first point, ang given po ay ang ating y coordinate and then for the second point, ang given po ay ang ating x coordinate. So, yung unahin natin is yung first point. Since given yung y coordinate, yun po yung substitute natin dito sa ating equation. Magkakaroon tayo ng negative 2 is equals to x minus 4. And since x yung hinahanap natin, kailangan po natin ma-eliminate itong negative 4 on the right side of the equation. We're going to add the additive inverse. The additive inverse is positive 4, right? So, dito, matatanggal na siya, magiging 0 na siya. And then, on the left side, magiging positive 4 siya. Ayan, plus 4 tayo dyan. Then, add na natin, negative 2 and 4, the answer is positive 2, and x is equals to positive 2. So, yun po yung hinahanap nating partner ni negative 2. So, for the first point, we have 2 and negative 2. And expect natin na ipaplot natin to sa fourth quadrant kasi positive negative siya. Next, for the second point, we have negative 2. And that will be substituted on our x value. So, we have y is equals to negative 2 minus 4. Pwede tayong mag-KCC dito since subtraction yan at may negative. Para hindi tayo malito sa sign, meron tayong negative 2 plus negative 4 keep change and then change so from positive 4 naging negative 4 and then we're going to add since pareho na sila ng sign combine po natin yung absolute values and then copy natin yung sign so 2 plus 4 is 6 and then sign nila is negative the answer is y is equals to negative 6 so yun yung hinahanap natin na partner ni negative 2 sa ating second point we have h is negative 2 and negative 6. So, since negative, negative ito, expect natin na siya ay nasa quadrant 3. Okay? I-plot na natin sila. Here is the Cartesian plane. Hanapin natin kung saan natin ilalagay si point G. 2 and negative 2. Positive 2 yung x. Negative 2 yung y. So, plot natin siya dun sa intersection nila. So, here is point G. And then, we have negative 2 and negative 6 for our point H. So, ito po natin siya ipaplot. Then, the last step is to write a straight line across those two points. So, this will be our line for the linear equation y is equals to x minus 4. Down to our last example for graphing linear equation using two points, we have here y is equals to negative 2x plus 5. Again, written siya into slope-intercept form but the solution is still the same. So, for the first point, meron tayong given na x-coordinate and that is positive 3. And then, for the second point, meron tayong given na y-coordinate which is positive 1. So, unahin na natin yung first point. Substitute positive 3 sa ating x, magkakaroon tayo na y is equals to negative 2 times 3 plus 5. Then, what is negative 2 times 3? That is negative 6. Then, combine natin yung dalawang constant. Isang negative, isang positive. So, subtract the absolute values. Magkakaroon tayo ng 1. And sign of the greater value is negative. So, yung wawala nating y-coordinate for the first point is negative 1. So, we have 3 and negative 1 as the first point. Again, positive, negative. Siya ay matatagpuan sa quadrant 4. Now, for the second point, substitute natin yung 1 dun sa ating y na variable. Magkakaroon tayo ng 1 is equals to negative 2x plus 5. Kailangan natin ma-eliminate itong ating 5 sa ating right side the equation kasi kailangan natin is x lamang. So, what is the additive inverse of positive 5? That is negative 5. So, ito po siya, plus 1 kasi positive po. Then, matitira sa right side is negative 2. So, what is negative 5 plus 1? That is negative 4. And then, divide both sides by negative 2. Bakit kailangan i-divide? Kasi nga po, ang kailangan lang natin ay yung value ng x. So, kailangan makancel yung kasama niya. So, para makancel yun, we have to divide negative 2. Magkakaroon tayo ng positive 1 na numerical coefficient ni x. And then, negative 4 divided by negative 2. The answer is positive 2. 
So, yung hinahanap natin na x-coordinate for the second point is 2. So, the second point will be 2 and 1. And positive, positive siya. Kaya, expect natin na ito ay nasa quadrant 1. So, isa nasa quadrant 4, isang nasa quadrant 1. So, plot na natin sila. Get your Cartesian plane and then look for the 3 and negative 1 na position dito sa ating Cartesian plane. Positive 3 and negative 1, quadrant 4 po. So, dito po natin siya ipa-plot. That is point I. And then, we have positive 2 and positive 1. San sila mag-meet? So, dito po. Ayan, plot natin si point J. Then, draw the straight line passing through the two points. And this will be our equation or this will be our line for the equation Y is equal to negative 2X plus 5. So, that's all for graphing linear equations into variables using two points. So, dapat nyo lang pong tandaan is to substitute the given value of the coordinate para mahanap yung missing coordinate. Then, solve it algebraically. Huwag kalimutan yung mga sign, yung mga properties of equalities para hindi kayo magkamali sa magiging answer ninyo dun sa missing coordinate. So, that's all for this video. I hope you learned something and stay tuned for the other videos na kasunod nito. Dahil meron pa po tayong two parts for this video wherein yung isa ay yung using the x and y intercept and then yung huli is using the slope and the point. Okay? So, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe, mag-like at mag-hit ng notification bell button para ma-notify kayo kapag na-upload ko na yung mga susunod pang video. So, that's all. Thank you. Bye-bye!